Japanese agriculture, supported by its long tradition and various climates, produces safe and delicious farm products. Recently, various of Japanese farm products are recognized in other countries, and the amount of exportation is increasing. In this Japanese agriculture, lately a new attempt is spreading quickly. That is plant packaging. Plant factory is a system which can produce vegetable and other plants throughout the year, regardless of the season and weather conditions, by strictly controlling the growing environment, such as light, temperature, humidity, carbon dioxide density, and nutrient solution. As for the plant factory, the cost for installation and operation of facilities is higher than that of current style of cultivation, which uses soil outside of such factories, and the output that can be grown is limited under the present situation. However, the plant factory has various advantages. For example, productivity is high because it is possible to produce vegetables safely through the year. And it can produce safe ones without using pesticides and can increase content of nutrients by devising bandwidth and volume of light. For these reasons, in Japan, plant factories tend to increase in recent years. About 50 plant factories that produce lettuce, herbs, tomatoes, and strawberries are operating now. And the expansion of the scale of production and movement to enter newly can be seen. And it's starting not only the setting up the business in Japan, but also making a business in other countries, such as Japanese manufacture, which has been starting to develop the plant factories by aiming at running business in the Middle East region. In this DVD, we are going to introduce about the plant factory. This is Iwaki Onohama Garden, invested by Kagome Company Limited, which is in Iwaki, Fukushima Prefecture. It started its operation in 2005 and is producing various tomatoes in the cultivation facility of 10 hectares. This factory is sunlight using type, which produces plants by using sunlight in principle in a greenhouse type facility, and if necessary, by supplementary artificial lighting and by other technologies, including a cooling system in summer. Here, computers automatically control the environment inside the factory in order to keep the best condition for growing tomatoes. They strictly monitor temperature, humidity, carbon dioxide density, and so on. For example, windows on the ceiling are moved automatically by temperature. It keeps carbon dioxide density high in order to accelerate photosynthesis of vegetables. This factory doesn't use artificial light, but some factories use artificial light to promote the growth of vegetables during night time and unpredicted weather. And also, the tomatoes are produced with nutrient solution on the rock row without using soil and each word of tomatoes are given it by computer. The nutrient solution is recycled and does not need large amount of water. There is an advantage that it can avoid decrease of productivity from the deterioration of soil by continuous cultivation. In this way, usually tomatoes can be produced only once a year. But in this factory, 
it is possible to produce continuously for 10 months and to produce 3,000 tons a year. This is green flavor, which is Mirai Company's vegetable shop in Matsudo City, Chiba Prefecture. It started its operation in 2006. We reached the plant factory by walking into the shop in the middle of the town. This is a cultivation facility where they produce lettuce and herbs in the factory and also sell them for consumers at the shop. This is a perfect control type which produces vegetables with using only artificial light in enclosed environment. This type of plant factory can stock many cultivation shelves and produce a lot of plants even though there is a small area. So, it is able to set it up, also in the back-end store and the warehouse. This factory is stocking the cultivation shelves of 60 square meters by 7 stages. In this factory, in order to make the best condition for the growth of the plant, the computer automatically controls by monitoring the temperature, humidity, and the carbon dioxide density precisely. The sort of light of fluorescent lamps in the factory. But some plant factories use LED lamps and high-pressure sodium lamps. And also, the plants are produced with nutrient solution without using soil. The nutrient solution is recycled and does not need large amount of water. This factory is a completely enclosed from outside, and they manage the entrance and the exit very strictly, in order to prevent the germs and bugs from coming in the cultivation room. Therefore, they can produce vegetables without using pesticides and we can eat them without washing. Normally, in Japan, lettuce can only be produced twice a year. However, in this factory, it is possible to produce lettuce 20 times a year. Furthermore, they can produce about 300 lettuce a day and can be produced every day by moving the cultivation time little by little. This cultivation system of this company is used in Showa Station in the South Pole. And also, it attracts attention from the other countries in the Middle East because this system doesn't need a large amount of water. This is a model plant factory placed at Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry, which is publicity for people visiting MEPI, such as consumers, businesses, and so on. This is a perfect control type. They produce tomatoes in single-stage cultivation bed with metal halide lamps and high-pressure sodium lamps and lettuces in multi-stage cultivation bed with fluorescent lamps and LED lamps. In here, it monitors the temperature, humidity, and carbon dioxide density, and it uses nutrient solution instead of soil. The nutrient solution circulates inside the cultivation bed. In order to prevent falling objects, from coming in the cultivation room, air shower is set in the entrance. People including many members of the diet visited the model plant factory, which was established this year's February through March. Plant factories are embodiment of the idea Agriculture based on science relies not only on experience and intuition. By instilling advanced technologies of our industry, such as manufacturing technology, technologies of monitoring and controlling environment, computer assistance,
related technologies and artificialized technologies into the world of agriculture. And also, it will be accepted as a new industry and securing stable employment in region. Therefore, Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry and Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries have been providing support for plant factories, such as publicizing plant factories to consumers, promoting research and development of related technologies, and assisting of integration of plant factories. In order to achieve the aim of triple the number of plant factories throughout the country and reduce costs by 30% in the next three years.